Yo, what's up, guys? This is the Insane Game Freak here, here to bring you a Pokemon Best Wishes episode review, which I've done one in like two weeks. It's been like two weeks, I believe, and the reason why is because they take forever to sub the episodes. Um, <laughs> it feels weird because I haven't done this in two weeks, and my brain is out of it. The only thing Pokemon related I've done on this channel so far is like the region reviews, and I still need to make Hoenn. <laughs> um. Which I'm in the process of starting, because I haven't started it yet, among other things. But let's get into the episode itself. This pretty much starts off the Raimon Town Battle Tournament. And I swear to God, when I noticed that when they said it in the episode, I was like, oh no, this isn't Raimon City. This is Raimon Town. And I was like, R really? You couldn't even put him in the city? You, you had to cheat him? And because Ash was like, are you just like, Ash had like the what the fuck face. He was like, really? Really? That's what we're gonna do? We're just gonna put me in a town that is that's still far away from the city, which is bullshit. Which I don't know why they call it Ryan on Town, but um, it, it, it's it's the start of the battle tournament, and Luke is with them, and we are reintroduced to Belle, who does the typical thing. She's actually a little bit. She's more annoying in this episode. She's like she's harkening she's harkening back to the days when we first met her in the anime. She was really fucking annoying. She's kind of annoying in this episode. She, like, luckily we don't see like she doesn't do too much, but she's kind of annoying in almost every scene that she is in. Uh, she does the classic pushing Ash, which apparently is going to be her joke when she's freaking out and rushing. She's going to push Ash and she knocks him into the spring. We're introduced to Belle, Burgundy. We're going to call her Langley right now because we don't know what the fuck her actual English name is because she hasn't shown up in the English dub yet. You know the Dragon Busta. Uh, Keegan, and I think those are the only four. Oh, and uh, Trip, and you know all pretty. And I'm actually surprised about Keegan because I thought Keegan would be like a, a fucking filler only kind of character. I didn't actually expect him to come back as an actual rival, which that shocked me. And the reason why I not I don't really, I'm kind of indifferent towards Keegan is because Keegan shows up in an episode that I kind of treated as filler, and then on top of that, that makes that episode canon, which makes me go. Why the fuck didn't Oshawa use fucking water gun? <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. Essentially, it's the battle tournament. They're all entering. You have this annoying-ass scene with Belle and Zora trying to catch Zora without even fucking consulting. Like she, it's, her, it's her bitch moment to me. It's her annoying bitch moment. Like, Belle is cool when she's mellow, but when she's hyper is when she gets on my nerves. And I think that's how her personality was supposed to go. Uh, but the, 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 pretty much the first round, you get some filler matches that no one really gives a shit about, and then you got a few matches with, like, the characters, and so here are the matchups. Ash is fighting Burgundy, Dent is fighting Trip, Bell is fighting Keegan, alright, I'm actually looking forward to that match, and Langley was fighting a filler character, and Iris is fighting a filler character. Langley's foot character fight was the first one we saw, which was really fucking basic. It's like her, uh, her, the bear versus, I forget what it's actually called, like, bear tick, I believe. Bear tick. And it's versus Joe tick, which is Garventula's, Garventula's, uh, pre evolved form. And it's essentially her trying to, like, attack it, but it's too small. It jumps on his back, shocks the shit out of it with a thunderbolt, and it loses because he falls over. But he's not knocked out, he just falls over from the damage. And the weight of that fall knocked Joe Tick out, which I thought was bullshit. And Iris is just like, really? That's just, that's not even a win. Like, he's like, did you see my Dragon Buster skills, Iris? Because, you know, Iris has the whole rivalry with Burgundy. I mean, not Burgundy, Langley. Burgundy has a rivalry with Dent, but it's kind of annoyed because she's like, I don't want to fight Ash. I'm going to just get through Ash so I can fight Dent. Um, Belle doesn't have a rivalry, ironically. I think it's because Belle's just too indifferent to have a rivalry. And Luke is just shooting the camera everywhere. Also, Luke is fighting the filler character, too. Um, but anyways, we get to see that fight. We get to see a few filler fights. And then the, the last fight we get to see by the end of the episode is... Uh, Ash versus Burgundy, and Ash raped her. <laughs> Ash, 
Ash rocked their ass. Like, essentially, that, that revenge that she was talking about at the beginning of the episode, that didn't mean shit because fucking... He got... He actually... He used Pallet Toad versus... Uh, I forget what Harry... Her Darius, uh, her Darius, uh, evolve form is. Which I'm actually trying to look up real quick. Which I, you know, Richard, but I need to have like Cerebi open. Oh, it is open. I just have it. I didn't have it on the fucking episode. Sorry, give me a second because I want to actually get the names right. I haven't done anything like po new. I haven't done anything Univer related with with Pokemon so far. So my brain's just like whatever. <laughs> Which is actually really bad, but I never met. I never. Ah, fuck it. Let me. Let me see. We are at. Oh wow! I just spoiled myself on something. God damn it! Damn it! I really spoiled myself on like two things now. I'm a little annoyed. Fuck it! I got. I got to deal with it now. The Pokemon is. Called. If I can find it. Where the hell is Burgundy? I can't even find her now. Where the fuck is Burgundy? I can't even find Burgundy. Oh, here it is. Stoutland? That's its. Wait. That's its English dub name? Is Stoutland? I think it's. A, I think I'm assuming it's a, a spun. I mean, a pun on Scotland, because it looks like a Scottish dog. But still, Stoutland. That's just a weird name. But yeah, it's it's, it's Stoutland apparently versus Pollock Toad, and it's actually a pretty even fight for the most part. Um, and considering that was Pollock Toad's first fight, he wins. I was actually pretty cool. Like it, it starts off with like a basic. I'm gonna do play by play, play by play. Everybody, we're in play by play mode. Here we go. Here we go. It kind of starts out with Mudshot. Apparently, Burgundy has an issue with Mudshot because he got so annoyed when he used it. It was Mudshot. He comes back with Tackle. Then he tries to follow it up with Thunder Fang. But, you know, Palpatine is like half ground and half water, so it didn't do anything. Then he switches from while, while Palpatine was still in his mouth. He switches to Ice Fang and starts freezing it. He's like, fuck, what do I do? Supersonic breaks out of the ice. And he comes back at it, and he tries to hit him with a tackle, and hits him with the tackle. And then after that, he tries to get him again with a fire fan. He was like, no, fuck you, it's not working, mud shot. And he got him right in the mouth with it. He's like, ah! <laughs> and he's like, you know what, fuck it, let's finish this. Hydro pump, let's go! And raped it, and it didn't even say shit. And he won. But the one thing that really confused me is at the end of it, you know how, you know how they usually say you did a good job, have a good rest and shit? Burgundy's little thing for 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 a stout land. I'm not gonna use that name for shit. Is you 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 harken, you, you smell. <laughs> it was like you smell like Hedaria did in the rain before you evolved. And it was like, what kind of phrase is that? <laughs> I, I don't know. That was just really random for me. But the uh, fight it's it stops on is the dent versus shooty or trip fight, which is what I'm looking forward to. Now I'm actually looking. That episode is already out. It's just that it hasn't been you know properly subbed yet. But I'm looking through the. They've already got up like the next few. The next three episodes haven't even aired yet. The next one is. Is uh is is uh trip versus dent and then they're also apparently we're gonna get to see Snivy battle because the name of the next episode is uh fierce fighting dawn battle Snivy versus Ponyard and then after that we have the one that comes out this week uh Emo Emoga versus Sock and then apparently Ass and Iris fight so apparently we know Iris wins that match and I guess the final match will be as Ash versus Iris. Which should be pretty interesting. And I've also heard something else. Apparently, you know, I think Ultra Nigga is just fucking with me. But the next episode is called Negotiator Meow Scrafty Pers Pers Persuasion, Persuasion Tactics. Which I don't. And Ultra Nigga wrote some shit on my channel saying Ash catches. I mean, Iris catches a fucking Meowth. 
And my brain just went, no, there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. Uh, and also, speaking of me, uh, Team Rocket is at the beginning of this episode in their black cloaks and shit, but they say they're in Raimon City. You know, the fourth gym leader city? So I don't know if they're in the town or the city. They might actually be in the city. And they're talking about how they're going to do stuff for Giovanni's sake. But that's essentially the episode. The episodes, I mean, you know, we, we're finally into some battle shit. I mean, the last few episodes were kind of... Nah, I mean, we're in movie time. Bitch was the last one. And then on, on and before that was the fucking fossil Pokemon with Arch and... Arch chops. Yeah. So, you know, it was a good episode. It's, it's perfectly fine. I'm more looking forward to the next... I'm looking for the next two episodes because I know... I haven't got Sock was one of my Sock is one of my favorite uh, Gen Five Pokemon, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing him in the anime, even though apparently he's going to lose. And the Snivy versus Ponyard, which I don't know who the f I, don't, I don't even remember what the fuck Ponyard is actually. I don't know what like I don't know the I don't know what Pokemon that is. Then again, I don't know who Ash would fight in the next round, but I'm thinking. Trip beats Dent. I'm not sure, but I think he trip beats Dent because Ponyard seems like something Trip would have. But then again, I'm just I'm basing that off of random assumptions. And I also still need to watch uh, the English dub episode, the, the Mansion one in English, to see how the Dinto screen comes out in English. But anyways, that is about it for this episode. I mean, this review of episode 41 of Pokemon Best Wishes. I kind of rambled a lot. I'm sorry. I got to get back into the groove. And then watch like the next episode doesn't get subbed for like another two weeks. And you were just sitting here like, fuck. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see. So, anyways, um, life's a game. Play to win. Got to catch them all. Uh, put your thoughts and your comments about the episode in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys later. Peace off.